If you create long form content of any kind, whether it's podcasts, YouTube videos, interviews, etc., you know that the most time consuming part is not actually hitting record. It's everything that comes afterwards. You record something great, but then spend hours editing it down, cleaning up the audio, writing titles and descriptions just to put out that one piece of content. And most creators that we talk to say the same thing. They have endless amounts of ideas, but almost no time to execute and finish up those ideas. Now, what if finishing your content was actually the easiest part of the process? What if you could record, edit, and package everything in one place and even have a built-in AI assistant to help you finish it faster? Well, that's exactly why we adopted Riverside for our podcast workflow. It's not just a recording platform. It's an all-in-one creative studio built for creators who want to make content faster. So let me show you how we're using this to edit, package, and upload podcast episodes at Think Media. If you do want to try out Riverside, I'll leave a link down in the description below that you can check out as well as our special offer that we have for our Think Media audience. So here we are inside of Riverside. If we go over to our projects, we can see all of these different projects that we've recorded. Here's a recent podcast episode that Nate and I uh, participated in together. Since this podcast is ready to be edited, I'll just click this little edit button right here. Click that and it'll take you into the editor interface where we can start editing our entire project. On this right side over here, you'll see your video files and it sort of has a split screen layout right now, which we can change if we want. On the left side is the transcript that's automatically generated and you can use this to actually do your editing. You can use it as a transcript editor where I could highlight phrases just like this and delete them really quickly if I didn't want them to be a part of my project. Really cool feature. Down here at the bottom is your video timeline like you've probably seen in any video editor before. This is where you can make all the adjustments and cuts and edits to your video file. And on the very right side are some of these tools that are gonna help us edit this podcast very quickly. I think one of the most overwhelming parts for content creators are they get to this point in the process and they feel like they just have such a long road ahead to get their video finished. You gotta edit it. You gotta edit the audio as well and export it and distribute your files. I know it can seem overwhelming, but watch how quickly we can do this inside of Riverside. The first thing I wanna show you is this brand new co-creator AI assistant they have that you can just quickly give some inputs to and then it will start editing your podcast for you. It's crazy. If we open up this dialog box, you can see they already have some suggestions for you. Maybe you want to remove unnecessary parts where you messed up, improve your sound quality, enhance visuals, etc. There's other suggestions as well that you can take a look at. But watch this remove unnecessary parts feature. I'm just going to click this button and then co-creator is going to start thinking. And then it's identifying, look at all of these purple dots they just put across this entire timeline. These are what they call AI producer notes. You can see right here, it's a little note. It says this section should be removed since it seems to be a behind the scenes discussion that's likely not intended for the audience to hear. And that's exactly what this is. So now instead of me having to manually go through and make all of these individual cuts where I messed up, this AI producer that the co-creator has created for us is able to identify these mistakes and edit them out for us. So if I just click this button right here, apply, it will apply this adjustment and delete that portion of the video. And we can see now there is a strike through right here to that section where we were internally talking with each other about how to move to the next portion. It's deleted that from our production. As you can see right here, it's actually identified 35 different portions of this video that probably need to be tightened up. And it's not just mistakes that it's identifying. If we go to this next one right here, number three, we can see that the producer is recommending we remove this section to improve verbal pacing. So you can see it's not just trying to identify mistake areas, but also creatively discern what's the best way to deliver the content that we're saying and add some creative elements to its automatic editing feature. So what I'll do right now is actually go ahead and apply every single one of these adjustments that it recommended that we do, and I'll see what it does to our edit. So I just applied all those recommendations and it brought the total runtime of our podcast episode from 38 minutes down to 24 minutes. So it's cut 14 minutes of fluff and mistakes from our episode. Now the tool isn't perfect. Like right here, this is actually the end of the sentence and right here actually needs to be deleted, but it didn't delete it for me. So I can highlight my transcript and delete immediately and it'll get rid of it. You can see it just went away from my timeline, but I could also zoom into my timeline right here and highlight this section of the video that I want to delete and just hit delete and then it'll remove it from my timeline. So at this point, I would just go in and double check all of my cuts and go through the transcript and make sure that it's exactly how I want it to be. And again, if you wanna try all this out yourself, be sure to visit the link down in the description below to sign up with Riverside and use our special Think Media link. That'll get you a discount. Now, if I wanted to edit the audio really quickly, I could ask co-creator to clean up my audio and let's see what it does. 
Okay, it says, I've enhanced your audio quality by applying magic audio to reduce background noise and improve voice clarity. So if we go over to this toolbar and click on AI tools, we can see that it's actually applied the magic audio enhancement to our video. Let's listen to the sound difference specific questions. So whatever niche you're in, there's these commonly searched for questions that you could answer. Okay, it definitely sounds more crisp, but I think it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to dial that back to maybe about 50% capacity on both my and Nate's tracks. And let's listen to it now. Think Media is called the ASQ method or answering specific questions. I think that sounds a lot better. And just look at how many other AI tools there are right here to reduce your overall editing time. You could remove filler words, remove pauses as well. And a little tip when editing your podcast is you don't want to over edit your podcast. You don't want it to be like so tight, like Mr. B style retention editing podcast episodes and even long form videos that are more conversational. If you have a guest on an interview of some kind, you want that to feel a little bit better paced, a little slower pace, a little more conversational. So don't try to get too crazy with your edit, but a lot of these tools can save you a lot of time. If Nate was hosting this episode, I could also drag him to this above position to switch the side. So if I wanted him on the left side, I could do that as well. And then if I even further wanted to change the layouts, you can apply what's called a smart layout, full screen, all these different ones. But smart layouts are really cool because it'll automatically change the layout to emphasize whoever is speaking. Sometimes it'll be side by side and sometimes it'll be a full screen view depending on who's talking. I'll click this right here and we'll just see in like two seconds it actually applied that adjustment. So now as we skim through the video, we can see here's a full screenshot of myself. As we skim further in, we can see it goes to a side by side shot, a two shot of the two of us. And then when Nate starts talking again, it'll go solo Nate. So it's automatically switching the camera angles for you. I mean, just look at all the customization you can have here in this editor. If I wanted to add our Think Media logo, as sort of like a branding element, I could do that. You can change the positioning too, if I wanted like top left or bottom right, at 100% opacity or transparency, or I could reduce it to like be a little faint, a little bit see-through. Cool that you can customize this, truly. And of course, since one of their core features is this automatic transcriptions, that also means you have automatic captioning very quickly. If I go to this captions section, you can see all these different styles and you can, I believe, customize these styles if you want as well. You can change the color, the positioning, the fonts. And as you can see, it instantly added captions to our entire video. And I think this co-creator feature is really neat for people who have experience maybe using chatbots like ChatGPT or Gemini, but you have very little experience editing in video editing software, you can actually just dialogue with co-creator to perform all of the operations. Maybe you don't know exactly what you're looking for, but you could talk to your co-creator AI assistant to achieve some of those outcomes that you otherwise wouldn't know how to get. Now, once you're happy with your edit, you just wanna click on the top right corner and hit export and you can export the video file. And if you're doing a podcast, you'll also wanna export the audio file as well. Typically I would choose WAV because it's the highest quality, but you could also choose MP3 if you prefer. For video quality right now, I'll just go ahead and export a 1080p video file and I'll show you the next step of our process, which is packaging up this entire video with the most important marketing information that's going to attract viewers to our episode. So even if Nate and I's episode is amazing and there's all this wisdom and info that everybody needs to hear, if nobody clicks on the video or knows how to find it, nobody is going to be listening. So how do you create a good video package for your episode? That includes things like the title or the description, possibly your show notes or timestamps of your episode, even your thumbnail. These are things you gotta think about to create your marketing package for your piece of content. Well, instead of trying to come up with the packaging elements out of thin air, you can actually use this co-creator assistant built inside of Riverside to very quickly come up with your packaging. So if I click the co-creator assistant, it open up this dialog box again, and I actually want to pick the content. So for this, I want to choose Craig and Nathan's final podcast. That's the one that we exported and edited. And now co-creator knows I'm asking questions about this particular piece of content. And I'm gonna use this suggestions dialog box again and choose the different operations that you can just instantly ask it to do. So the first thing I wanted to do is maybe generate an episode title for our podcast that we could use for either the podcast title name on Spotify and Apple Music, or even the YouTube version of this podcast episode. And even just as I'm speaking, look at all these different options. And I think our working title was like seven video formats to use for YouTube. And so it is kind of getting that and understanding that language throughout the video. Mastering YouTube, how to grow with effective video formats, unlocking YouTube success, the power of video formats, 
So it's giving me five options here to work with, and I could copy any one of those directly to my clipboard and then paste it somewhere else. Or I could grab all of these and move it over to another AI model that I typically use, something like ChatGPT or Gemini, if I wanted to flesh out these ideas even further. I also think this prompt right here, show notes and even episode descriptions are vitally important for podcasters because if nobody knows where your show exists, the only way you can get discovered is good marketing and good SEO so people can find your podcast and search results. So if I click show notes, I can actually select if I want it to generate show notes for Spotify, YouTube, or Apple Podcasts. Let's just do Spotify for now so you can see how this works. So I waited about 20 seconds and this is what it came up with. Explore seven proven video formats to boost your YouTube channel's growth, featuring Craig and Nate. We talk about the ASQ method. We have keywords. This is vital for SEO discoverability. Some key takeaway, learning outcomes, title options some good sound bites, and even chapter markers. It knew how to split the video into different chapters, so I don't have to add those to my show notes. It actually already did that for me. So at this point, I would just go through each one of these prompts and use them to get my show's marketing materials and branding ready for release. Okay, one more feature I've got to show you would be this magic clip feature, which creates sort of like a YouTube short or Instagram reel out of your full length episode. So if I just say create a magic clip, it's going to sit here and think for a few minutes, but then it's going to create a YouTube short that's actually postable and able to be shared with the world. Okay, it just created a magic clip, but it basically was just the hook of the episode. But if we go over to this made for you tab, Riverside will also automatically generate a bunch of clips from your episode that you can look through and you can also edit these. So they're not just like locked and you can't do anything to any of them. You can actually adjust all of these to instantly have shorts created for your long form podcast episodes or YouTube videos. Let's watch one right here. So what's maybe a tip for somebody if they're trying to measure like what is good enough? I think that's a great question. It's going to depend for everyone. I think for me, I have an internal metric of like, 80 to 90 percent if it's reached my threshold of if 100 percent is perfect i'm super proud of it but it takes me a month to do that but if i can get to like 80 percent within a week or an, even a couple days to get a video done that is what i go with so i think right there's a good stopping point for that short and i could go in and edit and adjust those timings and remove the ending if i didn't want it and i also don't love how much it's showing me when nate's talking i do like maybe one or two reactions but i think it did a little bit too much so i can go in and adjust those timings. Now, one last thing I did wanna mention for you podcasters out there is that Riverside does offer publishing and distribution as well. So all of the work that you've just done to record and edit and package up your episode, now it's ready for distribution and sending it out to the different platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, et cetera, for listening and consumption. Well, the beauty about Riverside is they now offer hosting. So you literally do not have to even leave the platform for any part of this process. You can click right over here on this hosting tab and you can create your show. We've already connected our show here. And you can even connect your Spotify accounts, your Apple podcasts or YouTube accounts and upload episodes. So I could choose a Riverside file like that podcast that Nate and I just finished, our final podcast for export. I can add that right here, add my show description that co-creator helped me build at an episode number as well as the title of the episode up top. And easily within a few hours of me recording a podcast episode, I could have it fully edited with inside of Riverside, use its co-creator assistant to help me package up all the details of my episode like titles and descriptions and have it distributed to all of the listening platforms within just a couple hours. So whether you're starting a podcast or you just wanna simplify your production workflow, if you create YouTube videos, or you're a coach and you do like demonstrations with PowerPoints or whiteboards. You could do all of that recorded inside of Riverside. And this truly is the easiest end-to-end -end solution that we found this year to create content with. If you do wanna try out Riverside, I'll leave a link down in the description below that you can check out. And if you wanna check out another video from us about podcasting tips and strategy, you can click or tap the screen right here to watch that video. And I'll see you in the next one.